My name is George Rapotis. I um, taught chemistry for 35 years, which I enjoyed very much. Unfortunately, heart disease started at about 35 years of age, and that slowed me down a little bit. Mr. Trapotsis is someone who had a really a long history of coronary artery disease. He had had multiple surgeries done. He had had multiple stents done. He had had blockages which, which weren't able to be intervened upon but were probably causing problems. Uh, ultimately, he was really having such intractable chest discomfort when he exerted himself that he stopped being able to play soccer with his grandkids, uh, dance with his wife, for example. And those were things that he really had enjoyed doing. He never felt good. He, just sitting in the chair watching TV, he would get chest pains. All that um, uh, changes your life and it brings you close to um, uh, a depression. He felt hopeless when we met him. He had been told uh, that maybe a procedure for the blockage that he had wouldn't be possible. But I always remembered from my Latin class a phrase that says, Dum spiro spero which means, as long as I breathe, I hope. And that hope came about when I went to Beth Israel. A doctor by the name Dr. Ye, who gave me the hope of my life. I did. I directed the Chronic Total Occlusion Intervention Program. It's a specialized kind of intervention to help patients who have arteries of their heart that are 100% blocked. He says uh, to me um, and to George, uh, not, not to worry, uh, we've got you covered and we're going to take good care of you. You'll see that the flow to this area is much better already. We're providing an innovative solution to a problem that used to be hard to tackle. Just this very circuitous route that the heart fills this way. This is a procedure that we say is done percutaneously, meaning it's done uh, through heart vessels, uh, not through open heart surgery. You can imagine a tunnel uh, that's 100% cemented off. We don't even know actually where the tunnel is supposed to go, and you can't get devices through there because there's no pathway for them to go. Instead of trying to go through the middle of that tube, we actually just go right in the shoulder of that tube and dissect around the blockage, pass through the blockage, and then enter back in on the backside. That's called the dissection re-entry approach. The second innovation that we've tried to bring here to the New England area is going actually backwards. When your heart vessel is blocked, your body will try to accommodate by building new blood supply to that area from other vessels. That new blood supply creates a little new pathway, actually put our devices backward through the blockage and then attack the blockage from the backside, which often can lead to greater success. The key innovation here is being able to jump back and forth between three entirely different strategies on a moment's notice to find the best strategy for that individual patient. Once I heard Dr. Ye, um, he says, we are through. Something heavy was lifted from my heart that now something will happen hopefully, that will bring back the old life. We're able to do a successful angioplasty and deliver a stent, uh, and I'm happy to say that he has really felt much better after that procedure. The success rates for chronic total occlusion uh, intervention used to be on the order of 50%. We've managed to get those success rates up to the 85 to 90% range. Patients generally, the feelings that they experience are a reduction in the frequency or uh, often an elimination of their angina or their chest discomfort, decreased symptoms of shortness of breath when they exert themselves, and most importantly, an overall better sense of um, well-being. We're now running into five or six weeks and I feel great. I'm back into doing the things I never thought I would do. When the kids came up last weekend, he got involved with them, he, he uh, played with them, he went outside with them and went, ran up, we had trouble with the toilet, he ran up and down the stairs from the basement up to the second floor and with no issues at all, I was very pleased. Our work isn't done the moment that the patient leaves the cath lab. We view this as a lifelong relationship and we want to make sure that he has not only a good result immediately but also for the long term. The main things are he needs to follow with his cardiologist, make sure that his 
cholesterol is well controlled. Do his best to continue exercising and eat a balanced heart healthy diet, which might be a low salt, low fat diet, for example. And he needs to take the medications, these antiplatelet blood thinning medications, which can help to keep the stent that we inserted open. Right now, I'm looking forward to many things. Uh, I'd like to go somewhere with my wife, maybe Greece, where my family lives still. We've gone through quite a lot together, and hopefully uh, with this procedure, we'll have some good years ahead of us. I'm very grateful, very grateful to the whole team. Success! Whoa!